Live from Studio 5, this is NBC5 News Today. The explosion of autism among American children leaves many families searching for the best way to help their children. Well, right here in Chicago, there is a school that addresses the growing needs of autistic children from age 3 to 22. It is the morning ritual. At Easter Seals Therapeutic School and Center for Autism Research, students arrive by the busloads from all over the Chicago area and are warmly greeted by their teachers. It's a brand new building and a first of its kind collaboration. The University of Illinois has a research component built right into the curriculum. It's not that we're just here to observe. It's not that we're just here to discover and to understand uniquenesses of autism. The real important component of our partnership is that we're here to translate our findings into practice. Hello, and thank you for calling Easter Seals. Maurice Snell graduated from the program in 1998 and now works at Easter Seals. He was consulted on the project to ensure the students would feel comfortable in their new surroundings. But he found a problem. Checkerboard patterns on our carpets, I kind of find it distracting for our students. It was quickly fixed. Classroom size is small with individualized lesson plans. As the child grows, the goal is for them to become independent. So there's a vocational training program right on site. But if independence is not possible, there will be housing on campus by next year. As part of that independent living facility, they'll also continue to uh, receive the job training and hopefully job placement. If, however, there, we are unable to place them in a private sector job, we have the sheltered workshop right here at the school. The school is open 365 days a year. And Tim Murai, president and CEO of Easter Seals Metropolitan Chicago, is here to tell us much more. Thank you so much, and thanks for allowing us into the school. It was quite an experience. Thank you, Soraya. Now, one of the things that struck me about the school is because you were building a brand new building, you got a chance to really build it, taking into consideration the needs of the autistic child. How are things different at the school? Well, it's right, as you mentioned, it's really built from the ground up. And uh, children with autism have definitely special needs. There's environmental factors that Im uh, impact on their ability to learn. So the design focused on soundproofing, uh, diffused lighting, placement of windows. The entire environment is set up to be very, very common. Hence, their ability to learn is enhanced. Yeah, I noticed that the windows were way high up, and so it lends itself to not be as distracted. Exactly. And the research component we saw in there, very important. You're going to be able to take the things that are learned and put them right into practice with the children? Exactly, and, uh, and, and put them in place with their individual education plan. We're quite excited about the collaboration with UIC because we feel we have the finest autism researchers in the country right on location. And again, the goal would be to uh, discover the intervention and treatments that can best be incorporated into the child's individual education plan and thus in enhance independence in the future. And Maurice, who we saw in this package, when he arrived there, he was nonverbal, wasn't he? Absolutely. Great story. Maurice's parents were told, you better start looking for institutions. And they did not accept that. They called Easter Seal. He spent eight years in our school finishing his last two years in Benita Juarez High School. He graduated with honors and in May of 2006 graduated from St. Xavier University. Great success story. So it is possible. Now you have this component that you're going to build in which is housing for, and this is a big deal for parents because what they wonder is what am I going to do once my child reaches that magic age of 22 and there's no longer any help. Right. And the independent living phase is the fourth phase of our wonderful uh, research campus and it will be set up for those that cannot live on their own or whose parents have moved on or can uh, uh, pass away or are no longer capable of, uh, of helping them. So we'll have that facility. It will be the, the final safety net, so to speak. And I know you have slots available. We've got to go. But how do parents find out more about the school and whether they can enroll their child there? www.easterseelschicago.org or call 312-491-4110. All right. And I know you can tuition out the children from your particular district. So we're going to have a link on our website for you to access. Thank you so much. And good luck today. It's a ribbon cutting ceremony. Thank you, Sarah. Congratulations. It. It's very nice. All right, Dick, back to you. Great work in a proud building, to be sure. Still to come, we're going to talk.